Hello, look at what we found, my favorite animal in the whole world. From a distance I thought I saw a, um, a very large monitor lizard, but it is in fact a honey badger that is digging his nose into this dead, very dead tree. We're going to try. How exciting is that? So excited, I don't quite know what to say right now. Well, there he goes, he's on the floor again, V. There he is, and he's not moving quickly. Honey badgers normally just don't stand still. He's going to come right to us. This is my first honey badger in Juma. I am so excited. And normally honey badgers just disappear. This guy doesn't seem too bothered at all. I can't believe it. This has made my year. Seeing the wild dogs this week and now a honey badger on Sunday. It's one of my favorite weeks ever. Here we go. So that's the typical honey badger gait. Always oh, stowed down again. And he's moving through. He's going to cross the road in front of us in a second. We get a nice sort of image of him now. Sniffing as he goes. There he goes. That's the honey badger movement. And they can keep that up for a very long period of time. How fantastic. He's got really, really good sense of smell. Not quite sure what he's looking for. But uh, could be looking for insects, scorpions, snakes. Uh, he was climbing up on the tree and maybe he was looking for something that uh, stuck, snuck itself away into one of the cavities. Everyone is also very excited, like me. Woo! <laughs> I'm ecstatic. Okay, let's see if we can get him again. He's looking very relaxed. It's all about the route that you choose to go. We um, have been, have had no luck with the wild dog tracks. Uh, so we're trying to follow up on where we last saw the lion tracks. And there goes the honey badger there. Paula, honey badgers are regarded as crepuscular, so active at dusk and dawn, but then none of these animals really fit into that category if the weather's quite cool. They can really do anything they want to, but primarily they're active when it's the coolest parts of the day. And uh, this guy is, as well, is cooled down a bit. He's probably quite hungry. It almost looks like his hips are sticking out. It looks like he might be extremely hungry. Maybe he lost a little bit of condition. He's gone into a little thicket there. We have another road to our left-hand side that might work quite well. Oh, no idea, Joy. I haven't identified yet that it's a male or a female. I don't really care, to be honest. It is a honey badger, and that makes me so excited. But I, I suppose... Oh, maybe I said he. I just, I'm so confused or so excited that I've maybe mixed up a little bit of the wrong language there, there it is I'm trying to get myself in a good position I think if I just move around this little thicket here he is playing a very nice game with us here I believe James Henry had the most amazing honey badger sighting for the longest period of time there he is there it is I'm just Marcy, honey badgers are omnivores. They're in the order carnivora, so they do eat meat. Um, they are specialists at snakes, scorpions. They absolutely love bee uh, honeycomb from beehives. Uh, insects, they'll feed on small rodents as well. They dig things up. Um, so, yeah, anything that might be trying to hide away small mammals, small birds, eggs, and they can climb trees. Nothing really can escape them. And yeah, they have a fetish for, for bees and beehives, hence the name honey badger. And they seem to be immune to the stings of, of the bees. A very thick fur and very thick pliable skin make them very, very resilient. Even to a leopard, uh, a lion might kill them quite easily. But a leopard, well, a leopard thinks twice about trying to tackle these individuals. But this is what they do. They're just ferreting around, constantly busy, constantly digging around, smelling, sniffing, searching for whatever they can go for looking for scorpions underneath the bark uh, sniffing maybe he's got some rodent trails he's picking up on or uh, maybe one of the black mumbers that's been moving around has left some sort of sort of pheromone trail along the ground that it's picked up on and is moving towards I'm over the moon oh yes Kathy Kathy Ohio Honey badgers are regarded as being quite aggressive, and that is their form of defense. Uh, basically, because they, they are mustelid, so they're able to secrete quite a smelly enzyme, um, 
and their best form of defense is just to be aggressive and to fight and to challenge anybody who tries to get in their way and through that most predators and most animals learn that the honey badger is not to be toiled with so invariably they leave them alone maybe a young male or a young leopard might end up playing with the honey badger once but then once bitten twice shy they'll end up leaving it be it's just in the little thicket here again it's going to come out the other side here we go he's got a snake oh my word he's got a snake he's got a snake i think it's a puff adder i don't know what well, might be a monitor lizard He's got something that moved through there. Look at the size of it. It might be a monitor lizard. He is grabbing it by the tail. It could be a snake. I have no idea. I just saw something move very quickly. And there it goes. Let's see if we can keep up with him. Oh, monitor lizard up the tree. He's going up after it. The monitor lizard's right on top. He's climbing it like a poo bear. The monitor lizard has got absolutely no chance here, folks. This is what the honey badger does best. Oh, he's jumped down. He is going to try. The monitor lizard is in a safe spot right now. I don't think the honey badger can climb that tree. Oh, my word. This is happening directly in front of us live, folks. That monitor lizard, I think, is <laughs> having a huge sigh of relief. He had his tail in the jaws of the honey badger and the honey badger just before we came around to the spot lifted his tail like that when his tail goes up like that that's when he gets excited uh, hyenas do something similar he's going to try again i wonder they are very clever they are very good at figuring things out and he's going to try to figure out how to get that monitor lizard the monitor lizard is sitting perched very precariously on a very thin stalk of a tree and i don't know he knows that he's no match for the honey badger he's going to just try to stay there but i wonder if this very clever carnivore is going to figure out how to get up there definitely where he picked his tail up before he must have noticed or smelt that something was here he was up a tree earlier when we first found him and maybe that was the smell of the monitor lizard that he initially found or smelt and he's been trying to track it and follow it the monitor lizard would be moving in very similar sort of manner to the honey badger looking for things and crevices Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Juma in the Sabi Sands, where we have got a very excited and very energized honey badger that has been ferreting around in the undergrowth and sniffing after something we weren't quite sure what. It then all of a sudden launched an attack, caught this individual monitor lizard by the tail, and the monitor lizard, who is very, very strong, was able to pull himself out of the grasp of the honey badger, ran up a very big log, and is now perched precariously on a very thin branch. The honey badger is moving around in all sorts of circles. He is a very smart fellow. They're able to figure things out and he's going to see if he can somehow displace that monitor lizard from his perch on top of the tree. Now he's going up the actual tree that the monitor lizard's in. They are very good climbers and what's going to happen is if he does get up there the monitor lizard's going to feel he's being threatened he's probably going to jump out and the honey badger will basically probably jump down and chase him i don't think this is going to end well for the lizard please feel free to drop your questions and comments below jonathan wow indeed he is well honey badgers are my favorite animal in the world and this is my first time seeing one in a, probably about a year and a half first time seeing one here on juma look at how he goes he does not care there goes the monitor lizard down he goes on the floor the chase is on folks the chase is on go honey badger i'm going to move up Voldy. honey badger's tail is in the air he is very excited if he catches this i don't know what he's going to do is he going to try throttle it yeah, he's got it right over here. How's that, Vildi? Yolanta, oh, we love showing you our broadcast. Welcome from Toronto here. We have the honey badger. He has just made the kill of what looks like a rock monitor. It's hard to say. I want to think I want to try reposition for you, Vildi.
just put my nose in the bush here real quick. Holy moly everyone, this is incredible stuff. That's about as good as we're going to do. We've just put our nose off the road here. Wingnut, well, the, the honey badger preys on whatever he wants to. And Marshall Eagle are actually also a very, very good uh, predator for monitor lizards. Uh, larger monitors are also good predators against younger ones. But the honey badger has dispatched him. He has probably snapped his neck when he caught him. The monitor, after that drop onto the floor, I think everything was over for him there. There's no escape. I've seen honey badgers taking Cape Cobras out of trees. I've seen them killing rock pythons that are six, seven times larger than them without any effort. It's all about attitude. There we go. It's positioned itself perfectly for us. What a fantastic sighting. It's quite an old... Yeah, Nerman, honey badgers don't care. We'll leave the expletive out of it this time. You can, there's a little bit of cracking of bone now. For some reason, he's enjoying eating the face. Not quite sure why. A little bit of monitor lizard tongue. Michelle, it is my favorite animal, and I'm glad that you love them too. They are fearless. And monitor lizards, to try and grab one, it's quite a thing to do. They are very powerful, uh, and the honey badger caught it by the tail initially and tried to pull it out of the tree, or out of the bush that it was in. Uh, it managed to whack its tail and knock a honey badger off, and then it scuttled up that little bush, which the honey badger then chased it up. And you saw how the honey badger figured it all out. And once the monitor was on the ground, it was all over but the eating. Maria, that's a great question. And the honey badger will probably eat his favorite portions, and then I don't think he will be able to ingest the entire lizard. The lizard is, is probably about half of his weight, maybe a third of his weight, which is an enormous amount of meat to get in. But I'm thinking that this individual honey badger is quite old. You can see it's got quite a bit of sort of mange or it's losing fur. Um, under the legs we saw earlier was losing a bit of fur. And its teeth aren't really doing, I suppose, what it needs to do. But maybe he just likes the lips of a monitor lizard. But he's not really breaking into it. I keep saying he. I do apologize. I have no idea what sex it is at the moment. Christina, do you see those claws there? The claws are for digging and for climbing. And they climb trees very, very well. I mean, he climbed the, the, the tree earlier. He looked like a, a black bear you might find in the, the Northern Hemisphere or in the States. And he climbs the tree very, very well. And they can actually go up the trees quite quickly. Nowhere near as well as leopards can do. But they're quite strong, quite powerful. The claws aren't necessarily very sharp. But they're able to add purchase, just like uh, black bears do when they climb a tree. And it enables them to pull their full body weight up but they can go up trees quite diligently and uh, he went up that small tree and onto the end of that precarious branch without any fear and I think I was watching him at the time and not the monitor but I think you might have all caught him just launching himself out of the air probably about two and a half three meters in the air he just landed on his side on its side after the monitor lizard not stunned at all most of us would be be completely winded with a fall like that especially when you're the size of an image like this and then there we go now he's in well I think he's enjoying his meal very strange to see what part he goes for first maybe he's just so angry that the monitor lizard resisted him initially that he's just going to eat its face first well, ladies and gentlemen, we are still live on YouTube. Please feel free to Google us, Safari Live. Jump on board. We're still live for another hour or so. Uh, we will be here again next week and every other day on YouTube. So thank you for joining us for this short action broadcast, and we will see you next time. Have a good evening.
Wow, I'm out of breath there folks, I'm out of breath. Well, who needs to find lions and leopards to get action? How exciting is an individual like this? I'm, I'm really, really amazed at the opportunity that this guy is taking, this individual is taking, and not really getting too much of the food in. This still hasn't really removed much of the face at the moment. There's a blood on the, on the lip. If, if there are sensitive viewers out there, it might not be a good time to be watching now, but this is nature, and this is what happens out here. They're not the, you see the teeth are quite well worn down, can you see that? Another good indication of age. It might be another reason why it's struggling to really feed. But they are tenacious, they are full of spirit. And it was so awesome to see because he was moving around with his nose on the ground. He was very deliberately trying to find something that had been around. And he went up the first tree, which is a typical sort of tree for, for a monitor lizard to be in. And then he just picked up the smell, picked up the trail, found it underneath the bush. And that was the end, as it were, of a very nice example of a monitor lizard. Well, from one carnivore to the next, one kill to another. Let's go to Sydney and the little chief. Yes, well, it is the most bizarre thing, folks. The honey badger is still eating the face of this monitor lizard and every now and again the body of the monitor lizard moves uh, we're not sure if it's just but there we go watch it I don't know if it's still alive or if the honey badgers may be pulling certain tendons in the neck but he hasn't really done too much eating he's basically eaten off the lower jaw yeah the tail's still moving it's very 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 sad to see if you're a sensitive view I would look away now there is a reptile I don't know what sort of pain threshold he has, but you can see that the face is almost completely gone and yet the body is still spasming from time to time. It is sometimes quite hard to watch. So I'm thinking the monitor maybe was playing shy for a while and hoping for a chance to escape, but Honey Badger's got both of its claws latched on and its jaws latched on as well. And hopefully it'll soon put this poor creature out of its misery. Remember folks, this is live. It's coming to you from the African wilderness where these things happen. Predator eats prey. In this case, predator eats predator. Monitor lizard wouldn't think twice about devouring the eggs of a baby bird. Or even the baby chicks. Callum, I don't actually, Callum, I don't actually have an exact weight measurement for you there, but um, it's probably equivalent to that of a, of a medium-sized dog of about the same sort of size. Um, it's not necessarily the strength of the jaw that makes a honey badger powerful. It's the fact that they are just aggressive. They, they basically just chase anyone down. They intimidate absolutely anyone, and that is where they win out in this area because everything shies away from the honey badger. I wouldn't necessarily say that they would bite you extremely painfully. I think the bite will be sore, but that's similar to that of a small dog. Um, I don't think it's got the powerful jaw biting force of that of a lot of the other animals that we have, namely hyena, leopard and lion. But uh, if we've seen the skull in, in the tent before, uh, James has shown it, I've shown it once or twice, the, the area left open for the brain to fit into the cavity in the brain of the honey badger in the skull is enormous in comparison to that of other animals. It's probably far bigger than that of most of the animals that you encounter, even for their body size. So as this individual was trying to figure out how to get to mo the monitor lizard out of the tree, it was using its very, very large brain to just work things out. Well, from a, once again, a small carnivore to another carnivore and this time a very very special sighting for those of you who haven't been with us during the week Sydney and Taylor came across something very special in the heart of Juma well we are still with the beautiful honey badger and yes well they're still eating the head and as we all should well know and I know it is disturbing to see but some reptiles when they are dead they're still practically move but it's still quite hard to watch when you see 
an animal's legs flailing in the air, trying to sort of escape being eaten, even though it is caught. Um, but what an insane drive it has been so far, mating lions up in the north. We just missed Hosanna making a kill, but a live honey badger kill. That is incredible. That is a first for me. It's the longest time I've ever spent with a honey badger. In the wild, I think the most I've spent with a honey badger is about 20 to 30 seconds before, because they just move, and you cannot keep up with them. And they don't stick to roads, they just disappear. But we could tell how this individual was moving. It was definitely on the trail of something. And when its tail popped up in the air like that, it got very excited. And then the work was done. <laughs> a few people are suggesting we should call this Hannibal the honey badger. Well, that's a very good decision, a very good um, suggestion. Although Hannibal the honey badger would probably be eating a honey badger, wouldn't he? Kermie, hello. You want to know where honey badgers spend their time or where they live? They live in little holes in the ground. They're basically timeshare with hyena and porcupine and all those sort of things. They're one of the many animals that do live inside of burrows. They're created by aardvark. Um, they do have, you can see those claws. They're very good at digging. So they can go into a small hole that's been created and dig it even deeper if they need to. They're very efficient diggers. Um, they often, oh, there's the tongue. Look at the forked tongue there sticking out. That's very interesting. He hasn't eaten the tongue yet. It's got a blue tongue. Now, you often see a monitor lizard when it's moving around, it's flicking its tongue out because it's bringing it, all, the, all the pheromones in the air into the mouth, which then are accessed by the organ of Jacobson, which is in the roof of the mouth. You find that in all reptiles. Uh, a lot of mammals have got it as well, the organ of Jacobson. But the s snakes and reptiles are the most obvious for it because everything in their environment is communicated through what they pick up on their tongue. And very interesting to see it from inside. <laughs> I know it's quite disturbing, folks, um, but this is quite a unique... Oh, he's going... Here we go. He's got the tongue now. Oh, he quite enjoy... Oh, he's pulling it. It's quite disturbing to see, but um, this, is, this is what happens in nature. Nothing of this monitor lizard will, <laughs> will be wasted. Um, that is the the back of the throat now of the of the monitor lizard he's eaten from the lips to the cheeks to the jaws and now i've seen the tongue which was anchored to the back of the mouth and down the throat and he seems to be trying to eat it from the inside out now you see a little bit of the jaw still up on the top left there of the teeth that at least the monitor lizard has stopped moving for now which is is quite less disturbing Francis didn't start on the belly, but what I do know is I've found twice in my life snakes that have been killed by honey badgers. One was an enormously large python, and the honey badger just ate the head and then left the rest. Um, and another time was a, I think it was a puffadder, if I recall. He also ate the head and then moved off. So it's very hard to understand what it is that they're going for. Maybe they know that the, the, the facial region is the most dangerous part of the animal and so they eat it really don't know but uh Vildi, that python you said tingana stole from a honey badger was it also the head only that was eaten no, you can't remember huh? so it's really hard to say but i mean how many people out there have seen honey badgers eating things or with kills um in my very limited experience of finding honey badger kills they always seem to eat the head <laughs> Mr. Public, I don't know if a hyena would dare try and come in here. Uh, the hyena would come in and start sniffing and maybe come a bit closer. The honey badger would lift its tail in excitement. There we go. He's busy chewing the last of the jaw. And he would charge the, the, the hyena. And hyenas are not used to that happening to them. Uh, down here, actually, lions will chase them. But if anything small runs at a hyena, I'm pretty sure, with the confidence that they, in zoo, in, that they carry with them, uh, with an aggression, with a growl, with a snarl, and the tail up, very excited. The hyena would move off for sure. He would look and go, ah, oh, it's not worth the effort. 
everything in life is about weighing up the costs, weighing up is it worth protecting, is it worth fighting for, same goes for all of the predators, is it worth getting involved with, just like Hosanna, who probably got his kill up the tree so as not to compete with hyena, and if one did manage to get it, would he actually fight back? Let's go to Sydney and see what his thoughts are.